are having online today. My name is Jesse Ainebiona, and I will be your host this evening as we go through a special, unique, and exciting event that we have organized online. A little bit about myself. Professionally, I trained as a mechanical engineer. And currently, I'm an entrepreneur in partnership with Near Life International. I'm also a corporate trainer. I do train people in different aspects and areas, such as leadership, public speaking, sales, customer service, to mention but a few. I am so delighted to have been part of the Near Life Business Opportunity, which is something that we are going to be sharing about today and this particular evening. We'll be hosting a couple that has done this business for the past 17 years. And over, the, over those 17 years, it has been 17 years of amazing success, 17 years of great achievements. I would like to recognize everybody on the call. We are 200 people on the call. I know we have people from across, across the country, across East Africa, across Africa, and even all over the world. So I'd like to recognize and appreciate everybody that has come in. And uh, I just want to take it away and share briefly about the kind of business that we do. And then I'll be bringing on this couple that has done this business for quite some time and the amazing story, the achievements and the success that they have gained over this period of time. So just give me a moment as I share my slide. All right, so in, in particular, the business that we are talking about today is the business of Neo Life International. And the business of Neo Life, our business is a business that simply asks, what are your dreams? It could be that your dream is to make some additional income. Maybe you want to make some extra income. You want to be your own boss. Maybe you want to have good health and well being. You may want to have more time with your family. It could be that you want to drive the car of your dreams or even build the house of your dreams. Maybe you love to travel. That was one of my dreams back in the day. Maybe you want to travel. Maybe you want to help other people. It is all about what your dreams are because life is not about, it's not about what is happening in your life today. It's about what can happen in your life tomorrow. You may not do anything about where you are now, but you can do something about where you're going to be tomorrow. And if you have a dream, we introduce you to the opportunity of Near Life is a company that has been around for over six years. It's a company that started in 1958 in the United States of America. It is a company that is currently operating in over 50 countries, more than 50 countries. That simply means that you have an opportunity. You and I have an opportunity to build business in any of those countries. And we are on a mission. Our mission is to make the world a healthier, and a happier place. We want to see people that are healthier. We want to see people that are happier. That is only possible when people are financially stable, but also they are physically well. And it is because of our mission that we have solid values. Our values have enabled us to stand the test of time. Among our values, we have the value of absolute integrity. We, what we say and what we do are a match. The second value is that people are number one. We put people first ahead of anything else. Why? Because people are the greatest asset that an organization can ever have. We also have products that work. I'm going to be sharing with you briefly about the products that we have. And we have an equal opportunity for everybody, regardless of one's age, regardless of their race, regardless of where they come from, regardless of anything. This presents an equal opportunity for everybody. And last but not least, we have a long range vision. We help you to see life not as it is today, but as it can be tomorrow. We are in business to solve a problem. And the problem is with what we know as the wellness pyramid. Because according to nutritional organization and, and health organizations all over the world, like the World Health Organization, the Center for Disease Control, the United States Department of Agriculture, they all recommend that we should be doing physical activity and weight management. Now, that simply means that if we do physical activity and manage our weight, we can go a long way in staying healthy and minimizing many of the people. 
In large amounts, we should be consuming the whole, whole grains are foods like rice, wheat, and soya. But they are whole grains when they are not polished. And then in large amounts, again, we need the fruits and the vegetables. These are body protecting foods. Then in small amounts, we need the proteins. And in the least amount possible, we need the fats and the sugar. Now, what most of us are doing is the opposite. You'll find that many people out there take a lot of fats and sugar and starches plus refined carbohydrates. Many of us take a lot of protein, and yet the fruits and vegetables and whole grains, we take them in little amounts. Unfortunately, many people do not do physical activity, and because of that, many people are overweight and obese. We have a solution, and the solution that we have is in line with the nutritional pyramid, where we advise people to eat right. But we also recognize that if we try to eat right, we still have nutritional gaps in the diet because of and the processing, and because of some of the farming methods that they use that ends up taking out some nutrients that our body is made. So in line with that, we have a supplement, some a range of supplements that we use. For example, uh, in the place of whole grain, we have a supplement called TRNN. TRNN is a product that feeds your cells and enhances your energy. Then as a supplement for fruits and vegetables, we have a product that is called Rotomid Complex. It is a product that boosts in by 37% in just 40 days. It is a product, it is that bottle, that bottle contains an equivalent of 115 kill fruits and vegetables in just one bottle. Then in Saprotein, we have a product called Neolife Check, a product which is very good for reducing body. It is good for overall growth and development. It is a good nutritional product to take on a daily basis. And then we also have the omega-3, which is good for the brain, the heart, and the joints. For the children, we have Vita Squares and Vita Guts. These are multivitamins and an and, and, and immunity booster that many... You'll find that these are products that you can use. A little goes a long way. You just use a little and it can do so much. A product like Superten, you can use it for cleaning your bathroom, your tiles, your floors, your windows, to mention but a few. LDC, you can use it for washing, washing cups and plates. It's an amazing product. And that laundry compound there called G1 Laundry is a product that you can use for washing clothes. You just a little scoop. Mix, your, mix it in warm water and then you soak your clothes. You leave them soak for about six to eight hours. All you do, you just come, rinse gently until the water is clear, you put on the wire. If you have a machine, you can still apply it in a machine. And it is good because it protects the machine. So those are some of the products that we have in the cleaning range. And then we also have something for people who do farming, specifically farming. It is called SuperGrow. SuperGrow is a product that maximizes crop yields and increases profit for anyone who plants any kind of any, any plant. Supergrow is a product that has proved to be a secret to a gorgeous garden. And last but not least, we have the skincare products. These are products that are scientifically proven, formulated and they are age-defying. Products that you can use on your skin will keep you looking better and younger for longer. So in a nutshell, that forms the foundation of our business because any formidable business, any viable business must have a good product. So those are our products. And you can choose to use them as a consumer, but it even gets better when you choose to be a distributor. Because some of the best of the distributor is that you get these products at a discount price. Now, that enables you to use them in a way that is economically viable. It even gets better when you begin to use them, not only use them, but also promote them among your friends. And as you do that, you stand to benefit a number of things. For example, you can work on and where you was. This is a business. You can enjoy the freedom of being your own boss. Just think about that. You can enjoy personal growth and development. That has been one of the greatest things I have gained in this business. Personal growth, believing in myself, becoming a better leader, becoming a better communicator, all because of the business that we do. You can build lifelong friendships, and you're going to see it from the testimony that Jan and Andrew are going to share. You can learn how to build a foundation for lifelong financial well-being. Everybody wants to be financially free. This could become a source of additional income just for you. 
You can also get the opportunity to get out of it. Why? Because out of this business, you begin to generate some income through commission and also through profit. And that can begin to supplement your income so that you can reduce your debt. But even better still, you can get out of it and become financially free. You begin to belong to a passionate, like-minded community, a group of like-minded individuals where you network and have and begin to share good ideas with other people. You can get healthy and learn how good health with those that you love. And last but not least, you can get the benefit of traveling the world. It's like I said, that was my dream. And out of business, I've had opportunity. I've been to Cape Town. I've been to Johannesburg. I've been to Bloemfontein. I've been to Nairobi, to Zanzibar, to Mauritius. I have done some of the things that I call my bucket list item. For example, when I went to Cape Town, I hiked Table Mountain. When I was in Mauritius, I swam with the, a with the fish in the ocean called snorkeling. I visited uh, Victoria Falls, did a bungee jumping at the Victoria Falls off the bridge that separates Zambia and Zimbabwe or along the river Zambezi. So it's exciting that you can travel the world and do amazing things like that. So I would like to now invite our special guests for tonight. I would like to introduce them. Uh, this is Andrew Bugembe and Janet Bugembe. Janet is a banker, a profession, an entrepreneur, and a trainer in financial literacy. Janet is the youth uh, coordinator for business and professional women. She also serves on a number of boards here in Uganda, including the Uganda Aviation School, the Victoria, Victoria and Victoria Motors Limited. Janet was profiled to be among the top 40 under 40, a study that was done by the New Vision. And she was also selected by the New Vision. She was also selected to be a, to sit on the panel of judges for the next category of 40 under 40. Janet is someone that has been part of the New Life opportunity. She has impacted so many, she has impacted so many lives. And there are so many people that are here that will say, I was inspired to do this business. I was challenged to do this business as a lady. I was inspired to do it as a young person with Janet's story. Janet, you are welcome. I would also like to introduce Andrew. Andrew is a personal friend. We happen to have gone to school together. And uh, Andrew is a of electrical engineering from Akira University. He is a tax consultant has recently completed his, de his degree in law. In fact, he will be graduating from LDC, that is Law Development Center, on the 29th of this month. This month or next month, one of the two. is an expert in business development, in marketing, and has built a business and nurtured leaders in seven countries across the continent. He is a coach who focuses on guiding people through their personal growth and development and has impacted over 200,000 youth just by sharing his story. Andrew has impacted so many leaders. He has built the Neo Life business successfully. I just forgot to mention that uh, Janet is currently pursuing a master's degree in the United Kingdom, all because of the personal growth that she acquired out of this business. So ladies and gentlemen, it's my privilege and my honor to invite Andrew and Janet to take it away and share their own experience, their amazing story, and what a legacy of success it has been over the past 17 years. So Janet and Andrew, you are welcome. Well, well, thank you, Jesse. Thank you so much. Am I loud and clear, Jesse? Yes, you are. Well, thank you. Thank you very much once again. Um, ladies and gentlemen, everyone, on the call, you're very, very welcome uh, to our session this evening. Um, we are humbled and privileged to be sharing with you our story. A few years back, approximately 17 years ago, on the 17th of July, 2005, I was given this opportunity and we were given this opportunity together with Janet. Um, and I'm telling you, it has never been the same. I'm very glad to be here. I just want to give the opportunity to my friend who is uh, currently in the UK studying, uh, together with Irene here, which I'll be sharing one or two things as well. But wanted to give Janet the opportunity to start off uh, with our story because she's the one who showed me this opportunity. 
and I'm very grateful to her for having done so. So Janet, you are very, very welcome. Kindly go ahead and begin to share with us what you have to share. Great, can you hear me? Yes, yes I can. Great, thank you very much, uh, Andrew and Jesse. And uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen from all over the world. We are delighted that you are here with us today to celebrate a journey of success, to celebrate you know, with us what it is that we have been able to achieve from this opportunity. Um, I have already been introduced. Uh, I'm called Janet uh, Navuga Bugembe and um, I'm married to Andrew and I am a mother of uh, Irene and um, I'm a banker by profession. This simply means I did a course in banking and finance. Why? Because I admired people who worked in the bank. You know, I wanted to wake up every single morning to touch money, to hand out money, to receive money. That was my kind of life that I had envisioned. So I worked so hard in school because I wanted to make money. I wanted to get a job. I wanted to be close to the money. So I passed very well my primary school. I went to one of the best girls schools in my country. I passed very well and eventually I was waiting to join the university in Makere at the age of 19. This is when I was introduced to the Neo Life opportunity. I'm very, very excited because today is the 17th of July, 2022. It was on the 17th of July, 2005, when I actually got that application form and said yes to this opportunity. But most importantly, I signed up to start this business together with Andrew. At that time, we were both in our long vacation and we were looking for something to do. Personally, I was looking for something where I could be able to earn an equivalent of about maybe 20 to $30 at that time. You know, at 19 years of age, you do not have so much responsibility. You just need money to buy a pair of new jeans, uh, some African sandals, uh, some handbags. That is how far I was thinking at the time. Andrew was a little bit more ambitious than I was. He was thinking of rearing silkworms. He was thinking of, you know, uh, doing um, uh, what they call burning of CDs, selling uh, movies and things like that. So for him, he was aggressively looking for something to do. So when I told him about this opportunity, he said, well, there's really, we are free, we are in vacation, there's nothing to lose but everything to gain. So why not? So that is how we started on our humble journey. Little did we know that the opportunity that we were saying yes to on the 17th of July, 2005 was going to change our life forever. And that is why before I even share this story, I wanted to start off with a quote by a gentleman called Camille Pissarro. This gentleman said that blessed are those who see beautiful things in humble places where other people see nothing. Why did I want to start with that quote? When we were starting the business in 2005, many of our friends did not see what we had seen. They started laughing at us. You know, we were selling products and, you know, they had all these kinds of myths about what this opportunity could do for us. And I think one of my greatest takeaways is having faith because faith is believing without actually seeing the outcome. So we started this opportunity with faith. Little did we know that we were opening up to a world of opportunities. I remember we started building the business. We started talking to people. Of course, we started by sharing with the people that we knew, our friends, the ones we had been with to school, their parents, you know, 
And that is how the business started to grow. In fact, in my first month of business, I remember I shared with 182 people about the opportunity and only one said yes, and that was Andrew. So that is how we started on our journey 17 years ago. But I want to give you good news that anything that you will ever do in life and put in effort, anything that you lay your hands on and you put in effort. In fact, someone once said that um, practice makes permanent, not even perfect, but permanent. The moment you keep working, you keep working, I can promise you that the results will come. Within a space of four months, I had built a business that was giving me an income of about $300. Remember, I had shared with you that I had shared this business with Andrew. And at that point in time, his business was also beginning to grow, you know, and we were making some very good money as students, university students, living an extraordinary life, yet we were ordinary students. I remember doing this business part time. That's one of the things that I loved most about this opportunity because I could do it part-time studying while also doing the business and doing it together with my friends. I remember uh, Jesse had come on board and a few other friends of ours had come on board because we had studied with them. And guess what? We had shared with them about the opportunity and what it had done. One and a half years down the road, I had built a business that was giving me an income of close to about $720. I remember at that time, Andrew as well had built a business that was giving me, giving him an income of about $600. And together, you know, just friends, we were making close to over $1,200 in a month. And this calls to say that we are an average of the five people we spend most of our time with. I want you to imagine friends of yours at the university and you are making some good money. So what would happen? A few things would change. The places that you were hanging out would change. You would have better meals. You would perform better in school. And better still, I remember it was at that point in time where I got a car, you know. So I had a car at the university at the age of 20, driving to my school and giving my friends lift. It was such a wonderful life. When I look back at the last 17 years, I'm so grateful to God that this opportunity could give me that kind of lifestyle, even when I was a student. So I continued doing this business part-time, at that time, Andrew became a director as well. Now, directors are people who are earning in excess of about maybe um, $600, $700, $800 at that time. Right now, it might seem like very little money, but I can assure you for a student, that was fantastic. In fact, I will tell you that in Makerere University, where we studied, that was the amount of money that our assistant lecturers were being paid as a salary. And mark you, for you to become an assistant lecturer, you have to have got a first class degree and you would have to be on top of your class to compete to be retained as a lecturer in the university. And I remember at that time, when I joined the world team, I had a team of young people who were earning in excess of $500. And it was that day when we took that photo with all our friends who were university students at the time. And I want to say that great things in business are never done by one person. They are done by a team of people. And this was said by Steve Jobs. So I continue doing this business together with Andrew and the group of friends. And I think also that's very, very important to remember that you need to do this business as a team because together everybody achieves more. We continue doing this business. And I can tell you, I was the first to graduate because my course was three years. 
Andrew's course was four years, Jess's course, because they were doing engineering, they were doing four year courses. I was the first to graduate. And I'm glad to say that on the 21st of January, 2009, that's the day I graduated from Macquarie University with a bachelor's degree in commerce, majoring in banking and finance. And at that point in time, as a student earning in excess of about $3,000 every single month, I made a sharp decision to retire on my graduation day. I usually tell people that I, you know, I'm, I'm grateful to God because I haven't had many people share a story like mine. Our streets at home are full of jobless graduates. So if you have something that you can do that can earn you an extra income and you leave the university without being desperate looking for a job, you better go for it. So I remember when I left Andrew at school, Jesse at school, I decided to embark on this business full time as they were also finalizing with their course. And four months down the road, this was in the year 2009 in the month of June, because I graduated on 21st January 2009 in June. 2009, I stepped up to what they call the president's team. And I remember that day, like it was yesterday, I was pinned by Andrew in one of the biggest halls in Kampala as a brand new president's team member, which title comes with a lot of benefits. Which benefits are we talking about? Financial freedom, traveling the world, growing as an individual, helping so many people, being given an opportunity to share my platform, my story at international platforms. That was fantastic. So I continued to do this business. And of course, by the time Andrew finished his course in the year 2011, June, we got married and that is when we decided to do this business together. So today we have been doing this business together. It's been 17 years and it has been a wonderful journey. Today being a very, very special day, I would like just to share with you some of the highlights in our 17 years of this business day by day. One of the highlights is you know, I remember all the times we went out there to share this opportunity with everybody who cared to listen. I remember at some point going as far as a place called Kajokeji in Sudan. It was inaccessible by vehicles. We had to cross the river with a motorcycle on the head. But today I want to tell you that um, Muhammad Ali once said that I hated every minute of training, but I said, don't quit, suffer now and live the rest of your life like a champion. So what was in my mind at that time is if I'm going to live my life as a champion, I've got to do what I've got to do. Today, as we speak, this opportunity has enabled us to achieve so many things. And some of the things that you're seeing right now on the screen, like you know, financial freedom, being handed over big checks on international platform. I remember one particular year, and that was in Zanzibar at the Neptune Pwani Beach, Andrew and I walked away with $51,000 that day, $51,000 in one day. And I want to assure all the people who are on the call today that you can choose to play now and play later. You can also choose to pay the price now and be able to play later. And because we had chosen um, uh, to, to pay the price today, we are proud of what we have become in the last 17 years. I want to share with you a few other things that we've been able to benefit besides the money, because the moment you empower others, you are going to achieve all your dreams. And it always seems impossible until it's done. This is Nelson Mandela 
telling us. In 2010, uh, just before, um, when we're just out of campus, driving a Mercedes Benz, everybody was so excited and they were thinking, wow, we thought you people were joking, but look at where you have come. So we are grateful for God for this opportunity. I would like to end by talking about the travel and the lifestyle, you know? They tell you that, they tell us that um, victory is sweetest when you have known defeat, you know? Have we gone through some tough times, some challenges trying to build the business? I want to say yes, but Malcolm Forbes says that victory is sweetest when you have known defeat. We have been to some of the best destinations around the world, like the Honolulu in Hawaii. We have been to um, Sun City, the palace of the lost city in Sun City, South Africa. Right from the time we were 19 years of age traveling the world, you know, we have been to um, the Emirates Palace in Abu Dhabi. These are some of the places that you would want, you know, to visit, you know, at least given the time that you have here on earth. We have been to um, the Neptune Pwani Beach in Zanzibar. We have been to um, the Silverado, Mexico, Cabo San Lucas. We have been to, um, to London. We have been to Mauritius. We have been to um, Abu Dhabi, you know, name different places around the world, Dubai. We've been to Rome. And the most beautiful thing about these trips is all expenses are paid, you know, and that was the latest trip in Zimbabwe, in Durban in, the, in May 2022. And I'm looking forward because in the month of October, we shall be going to Barcelona, Spain. And I'm very, very uh, privileged because Barcelona, Spain is just a stone throw away from London. So uh, we are going to be in Barcelona, Spain. And next year, we are going to be in Turkey. You know, so when I look back at my passport, one time I was very curious. I wanted to find out how many places has Neo Life given me, given me an opportunity to visit. I want to say that I've had an opportunity to travel. We have had an opportunity to travel together with Andrew to about for about 63 times courtesy of the near life opportunity. And what we are saying today is this can happen for you because it has happened for us. So for everybody on this call, I would like to congratulate you in a special way and thank you for coming to celebrate with us because without you, this journey would not have been what it is. So thank you very much and over to you, Andrew. Wow, thank you so much, Janet. Thank you so much. Um, my upline at the time, thank you for the 17 years you've been able to uh, guide, guide us as a team. Uh, we are very, very proud of you. Um, Irene is here. Irene has a testimony as well. Irene, kindly share with us your testimony. Irene is a, a daughter. Um, she's studying. Oh, can you tell us? <laughs> my name is Irene. I'm 10 years old and I've been a part of Near Life when I was still in my mother's womb. So when I was eight years old, I, we had an accident, but this new life products really worked. And this product I used for this case, I'll, I'll wear a gel. So me and my parents, we had a party. So the next day in the morning, while we were taking breakfast, something bad happened. The hot tea just from the stove burnt me and I was in tights. After that, when I used Alvera gel, morning, afternoon, and night, till this day, now I'm well properly. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Irene. Thank you very much. That is Irene's story on Alvera gel. This is a family business. And I think that's one of the things that attracted me to this opportunity. We're living at a time where uh, people don't have any time for their families. They don't have time to see their children grow. They are upset fathers and upset mothers. But courtesy of this opportunity, this is something that you can be able to, um, to, um, to, to, be, to put part of your program and create time for, because eventually, as time goes on, as you build the business, you begin to give your family more time. And through some of the holidays you've just seen above there, it becomes very possible for you to, to build a very beautiful business together with your family. 
I also just want to add to what Janet has just shared right now, that one of the other things that really attracted me to the business was the power of association. Um, someone told me when I just started the business that, you know what, you need to, you need to be with people who are in life where you want to be. And for me, this has been exciting. I mean, um, the opportunity, this new life opportunity has given me a chance to associate with people in life where I could never have thought of ever having to meet. But courage of this opportunity, that is what has been able to happen for us. And this can also happen for you. Um, the other thing is, I think, about legacy as well. Those are the two things that stand out for me. Uh, this is a friend of mine that uh, I sponsored in my very, very first days. And uh, I can tell you, uh, we built the business together until along the way, when he passed on in an accident, the business was taken over by the mother and the brother on the left there. And what is amazing me to this day is that um, every single month, uh, the late David still gets an income of at least $1,000 out of this opportunity. So when I build this business, I usually tell people, you need to work smart. Um, you may have an income right now. We saw what happened in COVID. Things change. But you know, even when we go through COVID, uh, going through this opportunity and looking at this opportunity as we're working it, I remember um, our business just kept on growing throughout the whole season. So if you're here, on the call for the very first time, I just want to encourage you and say that with time, as you build this business, you are not just building it for you today or for the people you are with right now. You're building it for so many generations to come. And perhaps if you just think of these few things I'm going to share with you just now, um, go back, you know, trust in God, believe in God, because sometimes we look at ourselves and we see ourselves as such small people, as people who cannot do much. I remember when I started and I was 20 years old, um, I remember people telling me, um, Andrew, one day you'll drive a car. But you know what? Um, I'd seen my father drive his first car at the age of 42. I was not even thinking of driving a car in the next five or 10 years. But you know, through this opportunity, the moment you believe in yourself, you believe in the products, you believe in the opportunity itself, it's definitely going to work for you. You believe in your ability, you ensure that you do not limit yourself. And I'll tell you something. Sometimes you'll meet a few challenges here and there along the way, but at the end of the day, you will still succeed. That's what I've come to learn out this, the last 17 years I've been doing this business. So you have to learn from your pains and every single day, put, up time, put aside some time working on yourself every single day. But other than that, if you're working hard, you're consistent and you are persevering, your story is definitely very far from getting done. I want to encourage everyone on the call to please take control. Um, we took control of our lives 17 years ago. I have also never been in any form of employment. Um, I'm qualified as an engineer, electrical at that, um, but I'm an advocate as well. And um, what is interesting is that New Life has given me the opportunity to be able to explore all these options. But if you are, Someone who is looking at um, taking charge of your life, this is definitely an opportunity that you can be able to look at and that can be able to change your life. As we conclude our meeting today, I would just like to say thank you to each and every one. I would like personal thanks to our uplines, beginning with Sam and Miriam. Thank you so much for taking care of us for these last 17 years. Um, thank you so much, Mike. Thank you so much, Dr. Isiza. I know you're on the call. I um, would like to thank the company for always providing all the logistics that we need to build our business. This business, we're in partnership with New Life. Without New Life, we would not even have an opportunity with us here with us today. I would like to also thank our team. I'd like to thank everyone that is calling in from everywhere. Uh, thank you so much for putting aside your time and uh, being able to accept us to work with you. And last but not least, I would also like to thank the people that have helped us along the journey. We have a number of people we have worked with all across East Africa, all across Africa, and all across the world. In fact, one of them is a guest speaker today, and uh, we don't take it for granted. He and the wife took time and uh, honored our invitation in celebration of these 17 years. Um, he's a gentleman that we look up to so dearly because when we started the business, his story, was literally one of those stories that you'd listen to and just go back to build the business. He's a gentleman that started out as a teacher. He's going to share with us his story. The wife is um, 
a nurse, or she's now a retired nurse, or retired, by the way, have very set of beautiful children who have also built the new life business, they are involved in this new life business. And I must say that we are privileged and honored to have you this evening on the call to help us um, celebrate this 17 year milestone. Uh, Mr. Mudu Mukoena, if you're on the call, I know you're on the call, I see Fikile there. Um, kindly, you can now come on and um, share your story with us. We really, really, really look up to you. And um, thank you very much for putting aside time um, to give us some inspiration this evening. Mr. Mudu, you're very welcome. All right. Sorry, just trying to check and see if there's another contact in the call. Sorry, Mr. Mudu. Ah, sorry, I have to and sorry, I have to make you co-host. Sorry. Uh yes, very sorry about that. <laughs> yes, oh, I have to make you co-host. I'm very sorry about that. Sorry. Thank you so much. Can you hear me, sir? Yes, I can, Mr. Mudu. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yes, we just want to see you as well. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, good, good evening, uh, Tim, Andrew, and Janet Bukembis. Uh, the New Life family is great because you are living with people who love you at heart, even though there is no blood relationship to it. Um, I want to say congratulations on your 17 years. Can you hear me? Can you hear me, Andrew? Yes, we can. We can yes, hear you. Yes, I can. Oh, all, all right, all right. Thanks. Um, I want to congratulate you on your 17 years. Um, for a person to take that long, in whatever he or she does, means that that person has been given a vision. He doesn't have a side, but you have a vision. And may you continue having that vision because it will be enjoyed by your generations to come. My name is Mtutuzi Mokwena. I'm from Westville in Devon. I am a father of three children, two boys and a girl, with my partner there, Fikile. We started this business as far back as 1983. It was on the 27th of December. The reason why we started is because we were broke. We had absolute nothing. I was a teacher. My wife was a nursing, uh, was a professional nurse. And we didn't have banking accounts because we were living from hand to mouth. <laughs> So when we heard that our friend had gone overseas, you know, when you when you, you know you know more about your friend than anybody else. So we knew that uh, we were better off than this family who happened to be our friend. And we were wondering as to what to do overseas when we were so struggling, we thought that they are more struggling than us. Then we went to them and we, we, we wanted them to explain to us, of, of which they did. They explained to us and it was very, very exciting. Uh, to, uh, when they told us that, oh, we were introduced into the business and uh, what is good with it is that you can do it from the comfort of your home and uh, you can do it on a part time basis and uh, you just have to enjoy what you're doing. 
uh, at the same time, you end up uh, making uh, money by mistake instead of by papers. Then uh, uh, we then said, wow, oh, that's very, very good, that's very nice. Then we got in. Uh, the first year or so, uh, we started, and remember, I couldn't, I couldn't sell anything uh, because uh, uh, I just didn't know. I was not from the, from the selling uh, field. So they said, no, don't worry. If, 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 if you are scared of, uh, of, if you don't know as to how to go about selling, don't worry. We'll, we'll assist you. We'll be there with you every step of the way. And guess what? I mean, from that time up to now, uh, we are we are 39 years with New Life now, and we are five diamond directors, legend, and uh, we are still enjoying ourselves and we're still putting ourselves in the back having made that decision, which was not easy to do, <laughs> uh, believe me, but uh, we, we are now very, very grateful that we ended up uh, uh, making that decision. Uh, and we started selling, we started to have money to put in the bank, and after about uh, nine months because we started in December. Uh, in September 1984, then I said uh, I had accumulated enough in the bank to see me through if I stopped teaching. So I stopped. Then I got into the business for a full-time basis. I remember uh, my friends, my colleagues were saying, you have stopped teaching soap business. You are going to sell soap and tablets. Are you not? I'm sure there's something wrong with you. <laughs> well, I then said, well, I am uh, going to sell soap and I'm going to try and see if it not uh, help us through because all other things that we want we, 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 we thought would help us did not help us at all. So we started doing the business and after about nine months, it was September, then I quit. I went full time, my wife still remained in hospital. And after about a year, she didn't join me and we started doing the business on full-time basis and everything went well everything went so exciting because uh, network marketing in South Africa was never heard of so it was something new it flew like wildfire and during the time when it was flying uh, it took us about five years when we became um, five diamond directors. And when we were five diamond directors, uh, that is when we started uh, uh, enjoying and uh, accumulating assets and uh, looking for things that were uh, of a dream before we joined. Like for instance, we didn't have a house. I was. We were staying in a teacher's cottage. I'm sure you know what a teacher's cottage is. It is a wall, it is a, a, a room with four walls where you sleep, you cook, you bath. You do everything within those four walls. So we're living in that kind of a situation when I was still a teacher. So my dream was that of, oh, I wish I could have some money to develop an asset of my own and say, this is a house. Even if it's a four-roomed house, I was going to be very happy. Well, with Neolife, amazingly, how 
good this opportunity is. Uh, it didn't give us a, a, a forum house, but you were able uh, to build a house with a house on top of it. And that was so exciting in such a way that we still live in that even now. Because I enjoy each and every bit in that house because I know for sure that it was through the efforts and the belief we had in ourselves, in the products, in the company, in the plan that the company has put up, that has really made us to see or to realize this dream of a house with a house on top of it. And uh, 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 as you can see in the picture, that, that, is, that is a double at a garage and in front of uh, the cars is the carport that accommodate uh, the uh, extra cars which we use for going to um, uh, uh, to sell and uh, to, uh, to town to, to shop and those two cars that we are standing next to are the ones that we really use. Those are the ones that we go to meetings. Those are the ones that uh, we go uh, 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 to uh, 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 places that need uh, that type of lifestyle. But moving around, we do have cars for that. Uh, in fact, those two cars, uh, we call them the in case. In case the other one doesn't move, in case the other one is uh, held up somewhere, then we go back and uh, use the in cases. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, uh, the business uh, went on so much that uh, we were really starting to realize even dreams beyond that we, uh, 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 we that we, we we didn't have before. We started uh, 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 more dreams and seeing them realizing it was very exciting. Like for instance, when she was a nursing sister for a long time. I was a teacher for a long time. We've never been in an aeroplane. We had never been in an aeroplane then. So it was new life who really put us in an aeroplane and we have traveled the world. We know it in every part of Southern Africa. There isn't any town or city in South Africa that we haven't been. And we have traveled beyond the boundaries of South Africa. We have seen 85 countries in total. And it's not ending. You have heard uh, what uh, Janet said, very soon we'll be uh, 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 in Barcelona, Spain, and uh, next year we are busy taking care of ourselves and getting ready for that uh, techy uh, trip. Now it's, it's it's something that you uh, I wouldn't have wouldn't have think about when I was still a school teacher. It's something that I know for sure that. Uh, it might not excite uh, other people, but it excites me because very, very few teachers are exposed to such lifestyle. And I, I want to go on and say the business, uh, 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 when, you, when you do it, it doesn't remain the same. I like. Uh, uh, the phrase that uh, uh, Andrew uh, showed us that uh, you must understand that there will be hardship on the way. And that's exactly what happened to me and Fiki and our children because our business fell from a level of a five diamond that was in 1991. And we, we went down to a level 
where we were one ruby directors but paid as sapphire directors. Now, when such a thing happens, people will ask me and say, do what, what, what made you not to uh, run away and, uh, and uh, uh, cover? Then I said, even though we were dead, our business has taken us so low, but we were still paid 10 times more than my teaching profession. So to me, nothing worse has happened. In fact, I was still better off. So I stayed on there. I kept on going. And you've got to, at the same time, to read positive books. You have to, at the same time, to meet with positive people. Uh, well, I am so grateful for you because uh, you have got Andrew and Janet there. I tell you, if you stay with that kind of mind, with the kind of uh, uh, with, with the kind of characters, I want to rest assure you, you will remain solid. You will remain focused, and you will achieve what you never thought possible. But reading books helped me because I would read uh, uh, books like uh, 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 Think and Grow Rich, uh, The Greatest Salesman in the World, uh, uh, The Bible. You know that the Bible also uh, uh, embraces the work that we do as individuals. So if you read it clearly, it will show you the way. It will tell you that you just have to keep on going. As it says in the, uh, uh, in the book of Madini, uh, where he says, uh, uh, I will assist and persist, and persist, and persist until I achieve. Our great man, the, the first uh, Black African president in South Africa, President Nelson, Oli Shasha, Mandela, he said, the beauty of falling is not in the fall, but it is when you wake up from the from the fall. Ask yourself and say, "Wow, I don't belong down there," and you start onto your feet again and you move on. That is when you will feel the beauty of falling. That's what happened. We fell and in 2008 we went back and became five diamond directors again. We went on and if my mind serves me well, it was in 2009 or 10, somewhere there, fell again. This time we didn't fall, we didn't fall too, too deep <laughs> because we still remained as president team members. We fell up to a level of a five ruby director, but is a four ruby director. And we went on and on and on. And we said, we thank the Lord because he still gives us another day. We thank the Lord because he still keeps us breathing. The fact that he keeps us breathing is showing that he's with us. He wants us to go on. We went on. 
from 2010. I think if my mind serves me well again, it was about 20, 15 or 2016. It was 2015, then we went back. Oh, 2012, somewhere there. Then we went back and we became five diamond directors again. I remember when I met the president of that time, he said to me, uh, I hope I won't, I won't take your pin again. <laughs> then I said, well, I hope so too, because what happens is, the reason why I felt is that when people, when, when business was flying, I wasn't, I wasn't listening to anything that they were saying. I was just enjoying the, 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 the movement. I was just enjoying the, the flight, enjoying that the business has taken me to the to the clouds and I'm just moving uh, moved by the cloud. So I never had a chance of thinking uh, uh, and making sure that I learn a lot of what people say because you've got to understand whatever is said to you it is said because people want you to listen to that, hold on to it, and you go and use it. Now, I didn't do all that. As a result, most of the things uh, I just slipped off my fingers and uh, I, I, I didn't do, I didn't master my business the way it, I should have. As a result, there was, there was this falling all the time, falling all the time. But I mean, what is good is that when you are down there in the valley, that's where you learn a lot. That is where you want to. Uh, 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 write down anything that you, you feel possible. And you, you make sure that you hold, you hold on to whatever is said to you because you now understand that it will help you in the future. And that is what happened and that is what made us to go back there and correcting all the mistakes that we were doing and making sure that we understand that people are number one. This is a people's business. Whatever you want to achieve, you must make other people achieve because it will then come back to you. If you give love, love come back, comes back to you in a, in a, a double fold. Same applies to whatever good you do. So even to your business, you must know your team comes first. Your directors, distributors. Right now, we have got an unbelievable level that is making our business fly like you have never seen. The executive manager. Go and build those executive managers. Once you've built them, Take care of them. Take care of them like a person who is carrying eggs. Because whether you like it or not, those are your eggs for you. You may not realize the goodness in them. But your legacy, your children, your generation will be so proud that you took care of those executive managers. Because by the time, Everything will be showing that if you build and take care of what you have built in the long run, you don't regret. You don't see that as a waste of time. And I want to say this in closing. Janet, Andrew, I want your country to know you as a person in new life. Whenever there is new life that is shown or talked about, 
I want each and every person in your country to say, oh, they are now talking about Janet and Andrew. And I know for sure that through the grace of the Lord, through the love you are showing to your team, that will happen. And when that happens, your generation will be so proud of you. And I hope that will brush onto my generation as well. I want to thank you so much for having given me this chance of having to say a few words to your team. I know some of them don't know me. Some of them do because I've, I've been to your country through your invitation. I'm very happy about that. And I want to say to you guys, whether you are new in the team, whether you have been in the team for some time, you just hang in there because the good is yet to come. You haven't seen anything. Just hold on there. Remember, the, if you climb the mountain, the climbing does not go on forever. There is a time when it descends again. And during that time, you will be enjoying the fruits of climbing. Thank you so much. I wish you everything of the best. May the dear Lord bless you, bless your families, and above all, bless your country. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Papa Mudu. Uh, Jesse, if you can please wind up and uh, close today's meeting. All right. Thank you, thank you so much, Mudu, for that insightful and very inspirational message. Your testimony I've met you before, and uh, I, I still remember the words that you said when we met in Gabon, when you told us on stage, and I like to say you told me because I really took those words to heart, when you said that the raw material to your next step is right under your feet. In other words, like Zig Ziglar, if you help people to get what they want, you get what you want. So thank you so much for those words, for those that inspiring message and uh, amazing story that you have shared. It also reminded me of the words of Booker T. Washington, who said that success is not to be measured so much by the position that one has reached in life as by the obstacles that he has overcome trying to succeed. All right. I believe all those challenges that you went through, rebuilding and building the business have made you a much stronger, resilient, tenacious gentleman. And thank you so much for those encouraging and inspiring words. Thank you, sir. Thank you. As we close, I would like to recognize uh, everybody that came on the call. Uh, I would like to recognize the leaders that logged in. I saw a number of Ruby directors. I'm not sure I captured all of them. But I saw Grace from Kenya. Grace, thank you for coming on board. Fred Bishuki, I recognized you. And Kutsna Mokete from Tanzania, thank you for logging in. I also saw some president's team members like Zubeda from Tanzania, Florence Matumbu from Southern Africa, Sam and Miriam from Uganda, and uh, our latest and new president's team member from Tanzania, Gati Matthew. Thank you all for coming. I believe that we have been inspired and charged, ready to take on the journey of building our new life business. For anyone who has invited on, on this call as a guest, I would like to invite you to check in with the person who invited you to this call. They will show you how you can become a part of the business. And I truly believe that you too will get on a journey for your own financial success. I forgot to mention uh, Pieros and Jospat Kariuki, Jospat and Pieros Kariuki from Nairobi, Kenya. Thank you for logging in and it was a pleasure having you on board. For me, it's been a joy being part of this and I look forward to seeing you again. Wishing you a good night, have a nice evening and I wish you a fantastic week ahead. God bless you and bye for now. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you, Mudu. We are very You're welcome. Thank you, Jeanette. Mm -hmm.